these two people living inside of us. The first person that lives inside each and every one of us is called the ego. And this ego is really nothing you're going to ever get rid of through an egoectomy, all right? Uh, and you're not going to find it on any of your x-ray machines. This ego is just an idea. And it's an idea that we all have of who we are. And it's an idea that we've come to believe that who we are. And this idea says that who I am is what I have and what I do and what other people think of me. What I have, that is all of my, my stuff and how much it's worth and how, much it, and how it compares to everybody else. What I do, that is what I accomplish, what I've achieved and my reputation, what other people think of me. This is the ego. And the ego's basic idea is that who I am is separate from everybody else. That's what makes me who I am. I'm separate. And I am separate from not only everybody else, but I'm separate from God. And I'm separate from all that I would like to attract into my life. And there's a, there's a pie that's out there. And this pie has uh, so many pieces to it. And if I don't get my piece of the pie, somebody else is going to get it for me. So I'm in competition with everybody that's out there. And it's a very competitive uh, dog eat dog. I've got to get someplace. I've got to be better than I got to be number one kind of mentality. This is ego consciousness. Everything that every single person does, everything that every single person wants, whether it's a material object or a pile of money or a relationship, everything that everyone wants is because they believe they will feel better in the having of it. And then you have those like us. As you summon us, we come and we explain. And when you're ready, you hear, you see. We don't think that your world is as out of whack as you are seeing it. And we wouldn't make a big deal over a little bit of negative emotion if we were standing in your physical shoes. But we do agree with you. It should feel better to you. Life should be good to you. You should get what you want. You shouldn't have to suffer. Things should unfold. You should feel your power. We want you to know your worthiness. And we think that is the biggest, boldest, most accurate answer to the question that you're posing here. People have lost their sense of worthiness because of the distorted story that has been told to them about who they are. It doesn't need to be more complicated than listening to your heart and following it. Because your heart has memory, your heart has wisdom, your heart has consciousness, your heart actually thinks. And when you can develop a balanced dialogue between the heart mind and the head mind, that's when everything falls into alignment. But you see, the idea of the way you're actually designed is your head mind needs to actually follow your heart mind, not the other way around. They need to work in concert, but the head needs to take its cue from the heart, not contradict it and try to run everything. That's negative ego. The ego, we would like to redefine that as well. You are here in this physical body, seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching and perceiving. And your personality and your ego, as far as we are concerned, are very much intertwined. Don't try so hard. We, In the beginning, as we wanted you, you and your ego to understand that there was another part of you, we began talking about your inner being. So we said, ego, we want to introduce you to inner being. Now we want to say, inner being we want to introduce you to ego in other words because it all works together without your ability to sift through contrast and come to conclusions of things that you egotistically would desire all kinds of th everything that's in your vortex your ego put there you see and so we think what you're really asking about is Abraham sometimes I'm tuned in tapped in turned on and I know it and sometimes I don't know it so well and we say if you don't know it you're not tuned in tapped in turned on because when you are, you are. And so just keep playing it further and further. If, if, if you're feeling some negative emotion, don't play that out further. It will just lead to nothing that is of benefit. But the better you feel, the more you continue to focus there, the more you allow that broader perspective to flow. You're all born as an extension of source energy still really tapped into it. And if you were right from the moment that you came forth, 
encouraged by those that are trying to teach you familiarity with your planet and all of that, if you were encouraged to pay attention and really care about how you feel only, all of you would maintain your connection to source and you would create dramatically wonderful lives for yourself. But what happens sometimes, in fact often, is that you look to someone close to you, a parent or guardian, someone who is the vortex through which a lot of your well-being is flowing. And you determine, either because they tell you or from your own observation, that under some circumstances you will offer behavior that pleases them, and under other circumstances you will offer behavior that doesn't please them. And of course, you get more positive feedback when you offer behavior that pleases them. So as you offer behavior that pleases them, you begin to believe that you carry the burden of other people's happiness and that it depends upon your behavior and you start failing right away at keeping them happy. When it understands that the heart is actually the center of your being for a reason, not the head, but because your world has been taught to think that what's on top is best instead of what's in the center when you understand it's what's in the center that counts you will then reverse the upside down relationship you have between your heart and your mind and you will move forward harmoniously and this is the time finally in our adult life when we stop saying what are my quotas and what's in it for me and what can I get and we begin to say instead what are your quotas and how may I serve becomes much more of an important criteria than what am I going to get. And feeling connected to each other and to God and to what we would like to attract into our life, feeling connected to it rather than separate from it is the shift. And this is the time of awakening, meaning this is the time when all who are looking will find.